we have a Hulk? Oh, I thought the Beast had won it all. You're missing the point. There's no throne. There is no version of this where you come out on top. Let me infiltrate the beat. Concentrate the heat. If you ain't on my level, fuck it, let me be. I'll be going till it's all in motion. Talking killing rappers, then I hit my quota. And my train of thought is more a locomotive. Talking reason for it, I got locomotive. What's going on, guys? Drone to dogs here. Welcome back to the channel. All right, guys. So really quickly, we're going to be checking out this little fun tech 118 scale RC car. Now, uh, I did uh, have a live unboxing schedule last night for this bad boy, but I don't know what was going on. Wi-Fi was acting crazy. It was laggy. I didn't like the way the video was turning out. So I just decided to go ahead and just do a, a traditional unboxing of this bad boy here. So I did get this bad boy on Amazon. Our original price was $67, but it had a well, at least at the time of the video, it had a 50% coupon for this bad boy. So I ended up getting this thing for like 35 bucks shipped to my door, which is not a bad price for a 118 scale, uh, basically hobby grade RC car. It's not toy grade, hobby grade, because hobby grade meaning that you can't upgrade it, fix things if things break, and all that good stuff. So it's a 118 scale, 2.4 gigahertz, ready to run, comes with a LiPo battery, and this is funny, it's 30 miles per hour. All right, this thing is not going to do, I don't know why they say 30 miles per hour. It's not going to do 30 miles per hour. I, know, I, got, I got a Brustus truck that don't even do 30 miles per hour. Stock out the box. But we're going to see. You guys know we will speed test that. It says it has a proportional servo. So that means fully proportional steering. Um, splash proof structure. And smooth shock system. But I bet you those, I could already tell those are probably going to be friction shocks. Come on, guys. Come on. But for uh, 67 bucks. Not too bad though. It, it's called a what they call it. Is. Look at this thing. They call this bad boy the the shuttle go the shuttle goby shuttle goby. I don't know what it's the shuttle goby, but it's a one eighteen scale. This thing is available on Amazon, and if I can't remember, of course I will put the, a link in the description below for you guys want to check this out. But look at the truck. I think the truck does have that like uh kind of a 4th of July feel, like the American feel with the truck, a uh, real American style body, which is cool. But it kind of reminds me of the PX Toys. It even says, you gotta remember PX Toys had them Sandyland trucks. It even says Sandyland right here. So I'm best kind of looking like a rebranded PX Toys from my, what I can pretty much gather from just looking at it, the Shuttle Gobi. That's pretty cool. So let's just go ahead and get this out the box. Now my box is kind of mangled up. Look at it, look at this my box what happened this is how it came through shipping so you can see the controller there i need three double a's for the controllers which is not too bad hobby grade controller so we're good with it shuttle globe should be all right look at that should be all right so i'm thinking it's a px toys rebrand guys but like i said my box is all mangled up but we'll go ahead and tap into this make sure everything is all right hopefully everything is all right let's go ahead and tap into it see what we got all right, shuttle go, but let's see what you're looking like here. You almost like shipping, almost unbox you for me. The shuttle go, be. This stuff out of the box here. This is gonna be a quick unboxing, guys. Nothing too extravagant. I'm not gonna go into all the technical details. You guys can just basically check out the Amazon list and you wanna know all the little technical crap about this stuff, but. We will do a brief, quick unboxing because I want to get these batteries charged up. I don't know why I showed the Jeep. Maybe they got a Jeep model. I would have liked to have gotten that Jeep model. That's pretty cool. And you know they had that, the Jeep body. But the instruction manual here, you see some of the different bodies and stuff that they show for right here, some of the different versions that they offer. And of course, pretty laid out instruction manual, guys. I don't really have to go too much into detail with this. You guys can read this if you want to get into it. Look, it has a 380 motor. There's a 380 motor in here. So, that's cool. I thought it came with a 390. But yeah, I don't, this thing looks really, I don't know, guys. I'm not too sure that this package looks pretty. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Hopefully this works out pretty good. It looks like they might have gave me a repackage joint or something. So hopefully the, my shuttle go be, goes. Yeah, this is a, uh, yeah, it definitely, this has definitely been used. Look at this. Look at this. It's 
definitely been used. Packaging is already, this is not a new car, guys. Packaging is all open, already open. So everything is already open. That's crazy. So hopefully this car works. I'm not too happy about that. About everything being open and everything. So let's go ahead and just dump all this stuff out. Um, so we got a controller here. We got steering rate, throttle trim, steering trim, steering norm and reverse, throttle norm and reverse, on and off switch, guys. All right, not too bad. So look at there, we got um, three AA batteries is what we're gonna need. We got our USB charger. They did give us batteries for the car, which is cool. So got our batteries included for the car. Um, Phillips screwdriver wheel wrench to uh, take the wheels off and work on the car if you got to take the wheels off but let's go ahead and uh, get this car and then of course we get some uh extra body clips and some extra wheel nuts for this bad boy so let's go over this car make sure everything is good with this bad boy says i'm kind of feeling like they gave me a already used car doesn't look scraped up or nothing tires look pretty pretty decent the chassis doesn't look scraped up or nothing body doesn't look scraped up or nothing let me see here so I don't know, man. I don't know what really happened, but it looks like this was opened already, this little shuttle Gobi. But of course, we got some friction shocks, which is to be expected. We got some metal um, outdrive cups, some metal dog bones, but plastic diff cups. So got metal, pretty beefy metal dog bones going to the plastic diff cups, though. That's pretty decent. Um, so, I mean, this should be all right. Same thing in the rear. We got double wishbone suspension. Plastic, I mean, metal drive shafts, metal out drive shafts, and then plastic diff cups on the inside. Friction shocks in the rear. So let's go ahead and take these body clips off and see what we get in here. See what this little shuttle goby is all about, you guys. Like I said, I'm not going to waste too much time. I think I got some. I don't have so many of these 118 scale trucks. Like I probably got a couple different bodies that could also fit this. So yeah, body is a little thin. We'll see how long it hold up. It feels like the E-Sheen and the uh, PX Toys bodies. And I them actually, them bodies kind of held up pretty good. So I didn't have too many uh, troubles or concerns with those bodies. So we, it should do fairly decent. And then here is our inside of the truck, you guys. Wow, look at this. Cause like my ESC, even the ESC is not even all the way glued. Look at that. ESC even came up. Oh man, shuttle go. We're having all kind of issues right out of the box. Look at that. The, you can kind of see the ESC is already up off of the chassis already. So it's not even glued down all the way correctly. That is crazy. Look at this motor though. This motor looks like a nice motor. This little brush motor is a blue little motor with a nice heat sink on it. I've never seen a little 380 brush motor like this. You would almost think it was brushed is the way it kind of looks with that blue uh, heat sink and the blue uh, shell around it. The motor does look nice. I'm just not too happy with this ESC, 25 amp ESC, and it's already like not sticking to the chassis the way it's supposed to. So I don't know what the... What's going on with that? I have to stick some glue there to get that to stick down correctly. I'm not liking that. Uh, we have this uh, like mini Tamiya style connector for the battery. So I'll probably be swapping out the ESC and all that stuff. Depends. So here is the battery. 7.4 volt 18 or 850 milliamp hour battery, you guys. Like I said, with this little mini Tamiya style. This is the type of battery that px toys use which makes me think this is a px toys rebrand but that's what this is so we're gonna go ahead and just get this battery charged up actually see how this truck performs i'm interested to see it looks like <clears throat> had a couple different issues right out of the box but we're gonna see what goes on with this bad boy and try to get a quick run outside catch you outside All right, guys, so we got that battery charged up. This is gonna be our first run of this little uh, shuttle Gobi. Like I said, it didn't uh, box in. I don't know what this is going to be. But it is definitely open, so I'm gonna get a run of the UK. And the ESC wasn't really sticking to the chassis as well, but we're gonna get this bad boy run. Also, I'm sure that's the throttle trim. All the way turned.
turned up so you're getting the full speed now they say 30 miles per hour on the box guy this thing is not going to do 30 miles per hour on a little 380 it's not going to last over. i forgot to mention it does have led lights so that looks pretty cool and i do i do like the way this little thing looks so let's go ahead and just get this bad boy running <laughs> That's full throttle there, guys. <laughs> that's not 30 miles per hour. I'm not even sure if that's 50 miles per hour. And my throttle is all in. Let me check again. Throttle speed switch is turned all the way up. Throttle switch is turned all the way up. Let this car go past real quick. A couple cars coming past. Nonetheless, still fun though. You have a couple of gotta be honest with what your speed claims are. So we're coming up on about five minutes from landing here. So we're going to get a 150 milliamp hour light bulb. Not too bad. Alright y'all, so 
quick first car to this bad boy. As you see, about the 30 miles per hour, but I didn't expect it to do 30 miles per hour. I really didn't. But this thing does look freaking cool, though. I, I'll give it that. And 35 bucks has LED lights. I mean, and it can be upgraded, guys. You can upgrade the shocks. You can take all the motor and all that stuff, upgrade the motor if you want to do all that such stuff. But uh, it is what it is. The snow is starting to pick up. So your boy, Drone the Dogs. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next episode. Doses.